From surveillance cameras to guards, security is all around us. But even though Home Team employs more than 200 security agencies, rising costs and a manpower shortage means that this might not be sustainable in the long run. Having worked on the ground himself, Ken Pereira foresaw this problem years ago and started OneBerry to leverage on technology and solve the manpower crunch. So how is OneBerry bringing security into the 21st century? I spoke with him to find out. So OneBerry was started in 2003. And how has the company evolved since then? Well, when I first joined the industry itself, it was a very manpower based. When I went on, on the ground itself to look at what the problems are, the main problem I saw was communication. Because, you know, security agencies, what they do, they get a contract and they put the guards on the ground and then the clients take over. So there's no real-time communication that the agency knows exactly what's happening on the ground. What I actually did was to design a software. So we took away all the books and we have a real-time communication from the security agency to the clients, to the guards. That's where we started evolving on our uh, designing security solutions. We can see today that some of the security companies are also advancing into technology. But it's just not about technology, but how about putting together man and machine to solve problems. So everything has to be justified, you need service levels and you know things like that. So it's just not about technology, but putting the whole integrated solution together. So what would you say is the biggest challenge you face so far when running OneBerry? When we introduce these new technologies to clients, mindset was the biggest thing because people are so used to what they're doing. And here we are trying to say that, oh, you, you can take away the van and we'll put the machine. Right. So you're saying that there was a very like rigid mindset back then, like no one wanted to listen. So how did you convince them? Well, what we did was we actually invested in all the technology ourselves. We did our own R&D and we told the clients, try it. That you kind of put your, your money where your mouth is. Exactly, because they did not take the risk, we took the risk. And we, we have all the statistics and the data to show that they will actually save money. So what else has OneBerry done to stay relevant in the market? I think the most important aspect is that we focus on R&D, work with our clients to find out their problem statements, because we're not just selling a product, but we are working with our clients to develop solutions. And this is where Enterprise Singapore has come in and helped us to work together to create all these new technologies. We're going into robots now. So that's, that's the big thing because this is the actual thing that can help support the industry. Using of robots and things like that, the younger generation might be interested to come into this industry. And so looking forward, what do you think is next for OneBerry? I think moving forward would be really going into the region itself, Enterprise Singapore has its network to help us to get into these markets, not only in the region, but maybe internationally. So finally, I'd just like to ask, businesses will always face a roadblock at some point in time. So what is your advice when it comes to overcoming them? Well, we, we started this business in 2003. SARS came along right, and, and, we, and we saw the challenges. We faced it head on and you know, there were a lot of challenges. But from that problems itself, we saw that when things happen, you have to be ready. You have to be adaptable and also you have to be nimble in what you do. It can't be such that it's too rigid because times are evolving very, very quickly with the new technologies of today. 